um, a lot of people thought um, a lot of my hardships started when I played in the NFL. Wrong. <laughs> it started when I was a young kid, maybe when I was, uh, I think it was uh, six or seven years old. I was on the, um, on the playground. I went to the playground, and friends of mine were beating up this kid. They were throwing rocks at him. They were spitting on him. They were calling him like, Fakalati! Fafafine! They were teasing him. And I said to my friend, what are you saying or what are you doing? He's all like, well, he's, he's, uh, he, likes, uh, he likes playing with his sister's toys, his sister's dolls. He likes, uh, he likes boys, that he's gay. Let me tell you, young ladies and gentlemen, that is the day when Asera Tua Olo saw a piece of me in that child because I wanted to play with my sister's dolls. I was playing dress up when she wasn't looking. I was, you know, I wanted that easy bake oven I never got. I saw a little piece of myself in that kid. So what I did, I took that child within me. I took the child that we all have within us. I took that child within me and I grabbed him and I threw him in the closet and I shut the door. And I left him there. Because you know why? <laughs> that day, I saw hate. The way they were treating this kid, they were spitting on him. They were throwing rocks at him. They were calling him names. Ezra Tuolo did not want that. So that is the day when I became bigger and stronger and faster than anyone. So no one would call me a fag. Or queer. No one would spit on me. Call me names. That is the day when I became an actor. Because I didn't want that. Because that's when the day I saw hate. Throughout my whole life, every single time I thought that it could go back and let, go, let the child out, I would always hear something or I would see something that would help me just push that child deeper and further into the closet. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but the words will never hurt. That's full of shit. I'm sorry for cussing, but we're all adults here, right? That is totally full of shit. Because sticks and stones may break my bones, but words kill now. We have an epidemic that's sweeping this nation. We have kids committing suicide. Now, believe me, I have no, you know, there's people committing suicide all the time. But for, I have a problem when it can be prevented. These kids are reaching out to the faculty members. They're reaching out to counselors. They're reaching out to their parents, to their friends. And no one's doing anything about it. So they think that it's the, the next step and stuff is to jump off that cliff. Believe me, I've been there before many times where I felt there was like no hope. And believe me, when you run out of hope, that is where it happens. When you run out of hope, I've been on that, that ledge. I, I, I pulled the, almost pulled the trigger. I know how they felt. For you, Chris, to say something so stupid like that, it's kind of, for me, for, for me, it's up, like all the bullies thinking that it's okay to call a kid a fag or a girl a lesbian. If you think that only straight kids look up to you as a role model, you're crazy. Because every kid looks up to you as a role model. You need to watch what you say. Yeah. When you had that experience with the kid getting beat up on the playground, yeah. did you know then that you were gay or liked boys, or did you not realize it? You know, I, um, no, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that I was gay during that time, but I just knew that like, I liked different things. Um, you really don't know. I, I think that's where I... When, when that happened, it kind of opened, you know, it, it, it enlightened me to what I maybe was. But then as I, you know, as you grow up, you know, as you grow up and stuff, and instead of having a crush on a girl, you have a crush on a boy, you know, and stuff like that. And then you find out what the word is, and then you find out that society don't really accept you or it's such a negative thing in society. Because when I grew up, there wasn't any positive images growing up when, and, and it was any positive images on television or on the radio, you know, for me to latch on to. It was always negative. Um, what was your thinking behind coming out on a public forum like television rather than exclusively in private forums and on like an interpersonal level? Well, I just wanted to kind of kill all the birds with one stone <laughs> instead of 
coming out locally and then, you know, that trickle effects where it's like, oh, rumors, rumors, and then it like, oh, he has five husbands and one, you know, like, you know, and, and not only that, um, HBO gave us a platform where I, we could come out in a, a positive way. And I had a lot of control over that because I wasn't just coming out by myself. I was coming out with my children. So I wanted to make sure that it was a, uh, they, did, they orchestrated an amazing story. And, and you know, they didn't show the, the children part of it, but um, so that's, you know, that's, that's why we came out in a big forum. You know, people saying that it's a choice, that you should just choose not to be gay, and, and how do you fight that? Um, you know, not so much. I don't hear that so much, but before I did, you know, that it's a choice. I mean, come on, right? I mean, really? I, <laughs> I would have stayed with all these beautiful girls that I'm like, no, I'm kidding. You know, my, but, you know, it's... <laughs> If it was, that argument would hold water, right? That argument would hold water if, um, if we had like maybe 10 gays in the world, <laughs> right? No, I mean, we're, we're, we're everywhere. There's tons, you know? I mean, it's not a, and for me, wouldn't you think that I, it would be so much more rewarding for me or easier for me to, to just live the straight life? It's not, it's not. I'm sorry, but you can't choose who you love. I mean, I mean who, who your heart loves, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, in the Bible it says it's unlawful for a man to lay with another man, right? But if I believe I was born this way, like Lady Gaga would say, <laughs> if I believe I was born this way, then it would be unlawful for me to, to lay with a woman because I couldn't give my heart to her. And, you know, so anyway, it's just, I, you know, I hear that a lot, but it, it just goes in one ear and out the other ear because it's definitely not true. So, I do believe in the next two years we'll have an NFL player that will come out. And do I think it's a huge impact? Yes, it'll probably be a huge impact. And it'll probably be something like Jackie Robinson.